Okay guys, we've been here all of five minutes. We've already spotted something interesting hanging out down here in the rocks. I'm gonna go down there and see if I can try to catch it. Oh, this water is chilly. Okay, he's got his head sticking up. Gotta be very sneaky. He's a big guy. He's under the rock. I feel him. I got him. I got him. I got him. <laughs> He's big. He's big. Oh my Whoa. gosh! Let's go! Woo. Yeah, baby! <laughs> well, that puts us about three for three on these little Ozark mountain creeks and rivers catching a Midland water snake. This is definitely the biggest one we've caught so far. Wow. And he is grumpy. Look at that. He is beautiful. Oh my I gosh. Know. He's not quite as red as the other ones we found in some of the other rivers and creeks we've been traveling to. He's more of a brown morph. We found some out here that are really just bright red, kind of bright orange even. This guy's more brown, but the banding on him is just beautiful. Yeah. I'm going to try to get a little head grab on him so we can uh, get a closer look at him. He's kind of agitated, which I understand. He's probably going to bite me. What do you think? He's definitely gonna bite me. He's <laughs> definitely gonna bite me. Don't be scared. Ah! Oh, he just barely got. He's got me. Aww. He's got me. That's a that's a tough angle to get a grab of him. Here, let go. Here, let go. Let go. Let go. That's kind of a little tip. If you're around water and you have a water snake and they're biting you, you can kind of dunk them under. And most of the time, they'll stop biting you. But look at that. That is like. So beautiful. I mean, he That's is crazy, a, actually. I mean, a beautiful specimen. He's long. That's yeah. definitely the biggest one we've caught so far in oh, recent history. Look at that cute little face. Look at that. that so, oh, ooh. that grumpy little face. So what this guy was probably doing, he's he's hunting around in these rocks looking for small um, bait fish. So there's these fish called sculpins out here in this river, and they love to eat sculpins in this river. Also, small trout are definitely on the menu. So he's just you know poking around to see what he can get. Also definitely little tiny shiners, tadpoles, whatever. But as you can tell, he's very well filled out. Just a thick, beautiful Midland water snake. Not a blemish on him. We're gonna let this one go, but I have a feeling this is probably not gonna be the first one we catch today. Oh no. But um, we gotta get to trout fishing. We've traveled a long ways to get here to do some fishing and that is what we are about to do. So let's get a couple more looks at this guy and we are going to send him back into the river. All right, one last look at him. Oh, he's ready to go. He's, he's grumpy. Okay, we're sending you back here into the cold water. Go eat some more trout. He went right underneath that rock. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, all right. We've got a snake checked off the list today of things to catch. Now, let's get after those trout. Okay, we've waded out here into the water a little bit. I've got the trout magnet rigged up underneath my bobber. We're gonna toss it out here so there's any trout chilling in this current. All I like to do is just cast the bait upstream, kind of mend my line, and you know, let the bait just drift. And if there's a trout nearby, oftentimes they'll just snatch it right up as it goes past their face, but we'll see. I'm hooked up. I got a fish. Woohoo! There we go. Is that a trout? Hey, second cast. And I've got my first trout of the day. He's a tiny guy, but at least we're going to catch a trout. Definitely looking for something bigger than that to take home, but that's a good sign to catch one on the second cast. Ah, little baby rainbow. Whoa. Oh, he gone. Oh, good one. Good one. Better one. Better one. There we go. That's a normal sized trout. <laughs> He's still not that big, but we'll take it. We will take it. You could definitely keep and eat this size trout, but I think we're gonna go for something just a little bit bigger. You know, limit is five a piece. Oh, looks like that he's gone. But he was probably like a, a 10 inch trout, but oftentimes we're able to catch some that are a little bit larger than that, a little bit stockier, a little bit more fit for eating. But if that ends up being the average size, then we'll probably keep some like that because we definitely want to make sure we bring some trout back home. You got a big one? He's not like super nice, but he's a he's he, a camper. He looks shiny. Oh, that's a that's a nice that's a nice trout, Jay. Oh my god, get the net. I'm getting the net. That's a nice trout. Oh, that's a nice trout. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Yeah! yeah. Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> that is awesome, Jay. Yeah, that's like perfect eating size. I know, that's exactly what we are after right here today. I told y'all with that, those first couple of small ones that they were big enough to eat, but oh, he's definitely good eating now. 
Sorry, fish. Yeah, it's all right. Hey, these fish are put in this river to be harvested by us to eat. So that's exciting. I'm so excited. He looks cool. He matches your glasses. Oh, yeah? <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, let's get him on the string and let's get back out there. And he fell big into the shrimp, right? Yeah, he did. He loved the shrimp. I think I'm gonna tie me on some shrimp. The current's moving pretty fast. Yeah. So I think it's key to get something on the bottom in front of their face. Yeah. Good job, Jay. All right, let's put him on the string. That's a good one. Not bad. Get up here. There you go. There's my biggest trout so far. Another one on the trout magnet. Not quite the size we're after. We just moved upstream, by the way, if y'all couldn't tell. We quit getting bites in our first spot. But this spot here looks very promising. Hey, oh, nice one. He's moving fast. I think I finally got my first keeper of the day. He's not much bigger than the last one, but I think I'll probably put him on the stringer. What you think, Jay? Oh, he ain't bad. Yeah, that's a good one. He's a little chubster. He's like a little torpedo. Our other one needs a buddy pretty badly. So we'll put him on there for insurance. Just make sure that both Jay and I each have a trout to eat tonight. All right, there's my trout. Let's see how he compares to the one Jay got. Eh, he's quite a bit smaller than the one that Jay caught, but he'll still work. We'll butter him up in a skillet. Throw some lemons, some onions on him, and he'll be super tasty. Oh, that's a good one. That's good one. Oh gosh. Keep a hold of that one there. Oh yeah. Woo, that's another one worthy for the stringer. Come on, baby. Come on, big guy. Woo. Here, lift him up. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> They are slaying the shrimp. Well, I sure am glad we brought you trout fishing today. <laughs> Normally it's you showing me up on trout fishing, but hey, I got two for the stringer now. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Two really nice ones. My third one's really not that impressive, but it is a fish. We are two fish away from one limited trout, which is awesome. And um, I might have to swap up to a bottom rig. The current is kind of fast with yeah. the trout magnet. Um, but I have a good feeling we're gonna catch them even bigger than this today. They look a lot bigger in the water though when you're fighting them. <laughs> I know when they're far so away. So I'm like freaking out, I'm like, don't come up, don't yeah, come up. Yeah, those shiny sides can really <laughs> fool you. But that's another nice one. He's not as colored up as the first one you caught, but no. still a cool little rainbow. And uh, we will happily put him on the stringer. Yeah. Begging? Feels like another good one. That was in very next cast. That was the very next cast, yeah. Woo! He might be a smidge bit smaller, but still a good one. Man, he's really fighting hard. Woo! All right, well, this one swallowed the hook pretty bad and bleeding, so we're just going to go ahead and add him to the stringer. Yeah, he ain't too uh, small. He's a good sized one. Yeah. He's like the one I put on the stringer size, but that makes four. We're one away from our first limit, <laughs> and we've only been out here about, I don't know, 20 minutes? Yeah. We're doing good. <laughs> it's nonstop action. Jay's got another one. one. Jay's got another good one. Oh, flip him up on the bank. Oh, I'm in the way. Yes. Woo. Jay, you were on fire. This is like the best you've ever done trout fishing out here. I know. Normally I'm lucky to catch like one or two after fishing for like five hours. I know. It's crazy, but like you were just <laughs> smacking them. There must be something about these shrimp that they are just loving. This is a different. Oh, 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 oh don't lose him. She's got him. I think he knocked himself out. He's yeah. about to go on the stringer. That's the only thing about these fish. They're so hard to hold on to. Yeah, it's kind of annoying at times, but hey, we'll deal with it. That's and they're a, super wimpy. Yeah, they're wimpy, they're slimy, and they're strong, which is yeah. what makes it fun to catch. But anyways, they're also really good to eat. So that is our fifth fish. Oh gosh! Get him! are super hard to hold on to. Yeah, you're, you're in timeout. I'm putting you in the five minute corner. Hey, was, at least you got him. Yeah, at least we got him. If we did, you know, in the case we didn't get him, you know, maybe a big, like a giant size bit in the water snake could eat this trout. There's also otters, there's big turtles. A lot of things would have munched on this guy had he gotten away downstream. But I've got a bear grip on him, you see that? Yeah. That is how you hold the trout that you're gonna put on the stringer. You just squeeze the crap out of him. But anyways, we're gonna put this guy on the stringer. That might be the biggest one. I think it is. Honestly, he's a good size, but 
We're gonna get on stringer. You're gonna be in timeout for a minute. Oh. And um, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you keep slaying them, and uh, we're gonna see if we catch some more. But that's one limit. Let's go ahead and catch another five. Heck yeah. There we go, fish on. Fish on the shrimp. Get up here. He was way down river. Hopefully he didn't swallow. I didn't really feel him bite it. Just kind of felt the swim with it. He didn't swallow. He's good. Yeet. I think that one's going to be my biggest of the day. Ah. Oh no. Oh, he's definitely going on the stringer now. So I was originally going to release this trout, but he slipped out of my hands and bonked himself on a rock. So we're going to add him to our daily limit. I think we have, this will be our seventh one on there now. Not a bad sized trout, definitely a good keeper. He's probably honestly the biggest one I've caught so far today. So I'm eager to get him on the stringer and see if we can catch one a little bit bigger than that before we head out of here. Oh, he jumped! <laughs> yes. Oh, I love it when they get feisty like that. What's fun about this is that you never really know how big the fish is gonna be when that bobber goes down. So you're always hopeful that you're gonna have a big one, but even when it's a little guy like this, it's still fun. Nice little trout, nothing huge. Toss awesome him back. I'm gonna make one more cast in this spot and then I think we're gonna move on to somewhere else or maybe even hike on out of here. We've been out here for a long time now. We've caught plenty of fish. But we're just still just holding out to see if we can get one big one for you guys, but not sure what's gonna happen today. Oh my gosh, guys, we were just getting some B-roll shots. Jay cast it out, and you're not gonna believe what she has hooked up. I can't even believe what I just caught. This is an absolute first for us out here. Look at that. I mean, that is absolutely incredible, Jay. Neither of us have ever caught a crappie here. No. And it's the last fish I expected to catch out I here. I know, right? And really, just the circumstance, like, we were not even, like, really fishing. No. You were just like, I think I have a fish on here. <laughs> and I was like, what? And I was like, wait a second. What is that? I know, it's a dang good black crappie. I could not believe my eyes at first. Wow. I know. That is so, so cool. And I mean, what a beautiful location to get crappie. We got these awesome waterfalls downstream and upstream. I mean, this is trout water. I Apparently guess it's, it's crappie water too. <laughs> I know, and you know, it's probably because we're using a crappie rod. And we brought the slab queen out here trout fishing. <laughs> hey, maybe there's more over there. <laughs> there's, a, there's a possibility. You know, these crappie go in schools. Um, we've got plenty of rainbow trout. I don't think we even need this crappie, although we he know. would be probably pretty tasty. And yeah. I know y'all want us to keep him, but I think just under these circumstances, yeah. we gotta the, let him go. the first we've ever caught, and we don't really need him, we'll just send him back. Yeah. That's amazing. What a beautiful fish. I mean, look at that. Such a cool catch. <gasps> I know! That's awesome! Alright, this is definitely my favorite catch of the day. I just can, I am still in awe that I just caught a crappie here. But we're about to send him back. So here he goes. Bye, buddy. What's he gonna do? He said I'm a trout. Whoa! That is incredible. Hey, look at there. That's amazing. <laughs> Throw back out there and see if you catch another one. Right? All right, well, after that last wild and crazy crappie catch, I'm still having a hard time believing that you caught a crappie Me this too. far up the river. Um, that was awesome. Crazy. We made a few more casts in a couple of different holes and we didn't get any more bites. So we've actually hiked back up here to the headwaters and we are about to load up all of our gear and head back in the car and make the long trek back to the house where we will then clean and cook these trout for dinner or for lunch. Just depends on what time we get back home, but <laughs> we'll be cooking them in today's episode. So if you're excited about that, stay tuned to the end. But yeah, overall, had a great time fishing this river. Saw some really fantastic sights. Caught some pretty nice fish, didn't catch any monsters but that's just how it goes sometimes. We'll definitely be back up here again sometime soon to try to catch some of those bigger trout that we know lurk in these waters. But until then, we will see you guys back at the house. Look at that snake, guys. Ooh. That one, he's not double the size of the one we caught earlier, but that is a monster. <laughs> That's got to be like the biggest Midland 
I possibly have ever caught before. Wow. Based on length and girth, that is so crazy. We just wrapped up our session here. We were literally about to head up to the car and Jay's like, you hear that? And I was like, what is that? And then this guy literally started crawling up out of the water onto the bank, probably fixing to bass. But look at the size of that. Yeah, he's massive. That guy, I mean, those are like the most beautiful midland patterns I think I've ever seen on a dark morph like this. You know, of course they can be lighter, they can be more orange, more red, but it's, holy smokes. I think he's about to shed. I don't know, he could, oh yeah, look at his eyes. Or is he, he might, just, have, he, he might just be, oh look at his belly. Did you see that? Whoa. Look at his belly. Oh look at gosh. how vibrant that belly is on that snake. But he's also got a leech on his back. Oh, if you take a look right here, He's got a lot of stuff going on with him. We're actually gonna pull that off of him because he don't need no leeches. Okay. Got that. Now I've got a leech on me. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how long he is. No, no, he is massive. Like, like, I mean, for perspective, look at this. That is three feet easy. And these, these snakes don't get like super large, like rat snakes or, or racers, but that is just so cool. What an epic way to round out the fishing trip. <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah, that's awesome. I can't stop looking at him. All right, we've got our big buddy here. We're gonna send him back here into the river. This is such a cool spot. All right, guys, well, lunch is officially now, sir. We have our grilled rainbow trout. We also have some freshly picked zephyr squash from the garden. <laughs> we've got Jay, we've got baby C right here on the monitor in spirit, and we are about to dig in to our hard earned lunch. Yes, it looks so good. Honestly, you made it look pretty easy out there catching those trout. You were wearing them out one after another yesterday. That rarely happens. <laughs> it, you know, I wasn't gonna say anything, but you you did really, really well out there compared to how you normally do. Yeah, thank you. And you caught some really nice ones. Definitely some good ones for the plate. Did you already get a bite of that? I actually did just take a bite, sorry. Was it good? <laughs> it's really good, yeah. That's awesome. So, as y'all can see, we season these trout up with just a classic trout blend. We've got onions, we've got lemons, we have some mm. Cajun seasoning, and of course we had some butter. If you guys would like to see a more in-depth video on how we clean and cook our trout, I know that in this video we did it kind of quickly. Um, we'll leave that video link down in the description for you guys to check out. But with that, I'm going to actually snag me a little bite here. Got me a nice little piece with some skin. <laughs> there we go. That's tasty, yo. Mm -hmm. That is really, really, really good. good. That is really good. Let me get a bite of squash. Get a bite oh, of squash. Yeah. Is that any good? You had any of that yet? No. Fresh from the Colin J Garden. Mm. That's, that's money. Really good. That's, that's all you need. You know, all you need is some trout, some veggies, mm. hot wife, and you're good. Life is good, right? <laughs> Life's good. <laughs> Get that net, Jay. This is a good fish on a jerry bait. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. <laughs> oh, my it's a big fish on the jerry bait right here below the spillway. No way. It might take a second. We're using spinning gear. Oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. Stay on there. Six cents per boat. DD did him dirty. But can we land him? Oh, he's peeling drag. I have no idea how big this fish is. I mean, I saw him, but he's fighting harder than this striper I'm used to catching. I know he's got all this current. This is a river fish and he is fighting hard. We just got down here. I didn't even have the camera going. That was like second cast of this jerk bait up in here. Gosh, this fish is fighting so hard. Come on up. He's getting close, Jay. He's getting close. He is getting closer. Oh, it's a oh. big, oh my gosh, he's big. He's huge. he's huge. It's a big striper. Oh my gosh, no wonder he's fighting so hard, he's big. 
He is a big guy. Okay, he's gonna come up. He's gonna be ready. Almost ready. Oh, God. Oh, gosh. Oh, I'm so glad we got the net. That's a good stripe. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Come here, big guy. Come to Jay. Get in the net. Yes, he's in the net. Oh, gosh, he's heavy. He's a big guy. That's the biggest fish I've netted in a while. That's the biggest fish I've caught in a while. Oh, my gosh. I don't think so. We got a scale though. Oh my gosh, like second cast here below the spillway. Didn't even have the GoPro going at first. Like we literally just got out here. We were just trying to get the boat in position. I was like, this looks like a good spot. Ripped the jerk bait through this current seam and got lit up and I missed him. And then he bit right at the boat. And this is a big striper, guys. Yeah, he is so okay. long. Like probably the longest striper I've ever caught. This might be the biggest striper I've ever caught. I don't even know. He's just big. And we got him hooked. He's out, I think he's unhooked now, actually. I'm gonna try to get him out of the net without getting hooked because if he thrashes his head and I get hooked, it's going to be bad. Okay, there's my hook. Oh my gosh, he's a long skinny guy. <laughs> he's got, oh, he's got a swivel coming out of his butt. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's sad. Do you see that? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Maybe that's why he's skinny. Oh. Look at that. Wow, that's awesome. Isn't that a cool fish? So cool. I mean, if that's the first fish we caught here, there's got to be more. And there's probably <laughs> some even bigger than that. That is sick. I'm going to say he's like a, I don't know, 13, 14 pounder. He's because he's kind of skinny. We'll try to doctor his little, his little butthole problems in just a second, but let's get a weight on him real quick. Oh, we're in kilos. Oh, well, we'll, we'll transfer it. This is saying 4.35 kilograms, which is probably like 10 pounds. I feel like this fish is bigger than that, but maybe not. But that is an excellent way to start this, uh, this spillway river mission. Yeah, cool that's a fish. good one. Okay, so this is an excellent start to the mission. We're trying to get this doctored up down here. He's got this line and this swivel and this hook coming up, but it looks like it's already almost out. Like, we should be able to just... Whoa, a fish just jumped right there. Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh my gosh, but look at that. You got the hook out? Got the hook out. It's just like a number two bait holder. Maybe somebody's like a trout fishing or cat fishing, but we got the hook out of his butt. I'm sure that he'll take getting caught by me to get that hook out of his butt any day of the week. What do you say? Oh yeah, for sure. But that's our first one. We're gonna send it back. Maybe we'll catch some a little bit smaller we can take home to keep today. Um, but that is just excellent. That is the tiny fish we have. Look how long he is. Oh my gosh, that's a long fish. He's just so skinny. Definitely has to be related to that hook being stuck in his butt, but let's go ahead and release him. All right, we got a good revival on this fish. I think she's ready to go. Ready? There she goes. Woo! We did it! <laughs> Second cast, we got a big old striper. That has me so pumped for what the rest of the day has in store. Let's get back out there and let's catch another. There's a fish on there. Oh my gosh, guys, look at that. Finally, second fish of the day. It has been a long time since we caught that first striper. I, didn't even, I couldn't even tell if I had a fish on there or not. Is that a walleye? I think it's a walleye. That's a little walleye. Nice. For a second I thought it might have been a sauger, but look at that. Just throwing the blade bait around. Wouldn't have any more luck on that jerk baby. That is so weird. Hopefully we catch some bigger ones than this. He's unfortunately gonna be a little too small to keep, so we're gonna toss him back. But that's a good sign. Maybe we can get a bigger one. That's a fish. That's a big fish. Big fish, really baited. Ready bait it, ready bait it. That's a big fish. You got one too? Do you have a fish for real? We might, we might have each other's fish. It's same, okay, okay. I don't know what this is, it feels weird. Oh, what is that? What the freaking, what is that? We both got him, we both got him. What is that? What is that? I don't know, I don't know what that was. He has big scales. Oh, don't break the ball. Is that a carp? It's a carp. It's a carp. We have you here hooked in the head with him. I got him hooked in the mouth. He ate it. He ate it. He's in the net. What the heck? He ate the blade bait. That's a big old carp. That is a big carp. Look at that. It had been a while since we caught our second fish and I just caught two fish on consecutive casts. Catching some multi-species. I was definitely not expecting to catch, I guess this is a grass carp. 
out here below this dam and he smoked that blade bait. <laughs> I thought I had a catfish that the way he was rolling. I was not expecting that to be on this. It's not an ideal species, of course, but I'll take it. Pretty cool. He fought good. And what was crazy is that you got your bait stuck in his head too, so we both got the luxury of getting to fight him. Yeah, I got to feel the fight. It was, he fought hard. He was a hard fighter. He might have fought hard if it was just on one hook, but since we were both fighting him, he didn't fight too bad. But we're gonna send it back. It's kind of bleeding a little bit out of his mouth where he got hooked. So we're just gonna lean over here. Oh, ah, good job. Grass cart <laughs> on a blade bait. <laughs> so weird. Oh God, oh God, uh oh. That's a big something. That's a big old something. That is not small, JJ. That is not small. That is not small. I do not know if he ate it though. I do not know if this fish ate it. I do not know what it is, but it is not small. Guys, I have no idea what I'm hooked up with. I don't know if he ate it or not, but it is big. <laughs> Blade bait, baby. I want to see it. Oh Whoa. my gosh, what is that? Oh, look at the glow. Whoa. Oh my God. He is big. It's a big fish for whatever it is. He's a shiny fish, so we can eliminate flathead catfish. It's not a flathead catfish. Get up here. Oh my gosh, he's under the boat. Look at that rod. Testing out the durability of the new Six Sense Movement Series rod. I'd say it's pretty durable. Look at that thing. Look at that thing bend. He's got to be whooped, right? <laughs> Maybe I should stand up. He's right here. Just get away from the tall boat. Hey, Jay, watch out. I gotta come back there. Okay, so this is what it's like whenever only one person fights a fish. I get it now. <laughs> I get it. Thanks for the assist on the last one, Jay. <laughs> This is also how it is when you don't hook them in the mouth. They just have all the leverage in the world. He's got his big old paddle tail. He's out there just dogging me. This is like his third or fourth lap around the entire boat. But he's got to be getting tired now. There he is. We've also got the current we're dealing with. It's not super strong where we're sitting at, but it is quite strong. It does make a difference. Okay. I think we're almost ready for this net now. Come on. No, oh, he said no, you ain't. <laughs> Come on, go! You're my car. Look at my car. Yes. Oh, he's got a lamprey. Two Whoa. for the wrestling one. Come here. Oh Whoa. my gosh. Yo. Two species in one catch. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at this. Did it let go? It did. And the hook is still stuck. Yeah, he let go. Get that bait out of here. Oh, how'd that hook just come right out? Okay, let's start off by getting this carp out and then we'll show you guys the lamprey. The lamprey is sick looking. Look at that big old grass carp. That is so crazy. He's huge. He's quite a bit bigger than the last one. This one here is probably pushing 20 pounds, wouldn't you say? Yeah, he's big. He's a big guy. I think that's all that we're seeing on the graph down there. We caught that walleye, but then we caught two, two carp. So we're gonna make a move after we let this guy go, which we'll do that right now. Let me get him off these grippers. Okay, so look right there. You see where that red circle is? That is where that lamprey was attached. The lamprey is still in the net. I'm gonna toss him back in. You ready? Oh. There he goes. Now look at this. Hopefully this guy doesn't bite me. Look at that. All right, there's our lamprey. I don't know what kind of lamprey that is. Oh gosh, he wants to bite me. I don't want him to bite me though. Looks just like an eel. Take a look at this mouth part right there. Can you see his mouth? Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. That is just a circle of teeth. They latch on and they just kind of suck the life out of you. But we're <laughs> going to send him back in. This is obviously the slippery fish you can catch out here. Look at that. Yeah, believe it or not, that is a fish. He is pretty cool. I often enjoy catching them. Stuck the other fish, but I don't want him to get stuck to me, so we're gonna okay. heat him back over the side. Ah! And I yeah. am very slimy now. I've got slimy lamprey juice. I've got carp juice all over me. Hey, but at least you helped the carp out. Yeah? You're just helping everyone out today. Helping everybody out today. <laughs> but need to help you out and catch the fish because yeah. you need to hook up with something. Yeah, that'd be nice. So we're gonna make a move up this way so we can find some more game-like fish to see if they're willing to bite. Oh. 
Oh, bang it. Bang it. Bang it. Bang it. Bang it. Bang it. Hold on to him, JJ. I feel a little dead. You got him. You got him. So hold on to him. He's going to do his thing. Ah. Get him out of the motor. Oh, yeah. Go, JJ. If he takes off running, just let him take off. Just keep keep pressure with him. Oh, you got that fish. It's probably not that big. I think it's a hybrid. He's big enough. You saw him? I think so. Oh, it's a nice one. Woo! That might be a striper. Oh, it might be a hybrid. Get it, get it, get it, get it. I got him! Woo! Yes! Finally! Finally! It took me all day! Oh, it's a good hybrid. It took me all day to catch this fish. We've been here for a long time, and this is my first fish of the day. That's so crazy, because you've caught a bunch. Well, not a bunch. Not that many. But, I've caught a couple, but, but. You've caught some big fish today. And look at this, I got a nice big hybrid. That is awesome. Have you ever caught a hybrid that big? I don't think, I think this is my biggest hybrid. He's a good size, he's gonna be like four pounds or so. That's he crazy. He fought really good too. And I caught him on a little crappie jig. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah, we were seeing some skipjack right there below the falls and we were thinking about trying to catch some of them um, to maybe keep for some catfish bait when this guy just decided to destroy it. And I'm glad he did. <laughs> That's a beautiful fish, Jay. Oh yeah. All right, we're going to send you back and get our lines back out there and see if we can catch another one because that was a fun fight. Yeah, maybe they just now started biting. It's kind of gotten a little bit cloudy out here. Yep. Oh, in the foam. Oh. What's he going to do? Whenever you're ready, buddy. Oh, he's biting me. Here, just give him a little push. Whoop. There he goes. <laughs> good job, Jay. Woo! Hey, wait to see if your first fish were a good one. Yeah, that felt good. I was worried we were only going to catch trash fish from the rest of the day. Well, not trash fish, but, but rough fish. Rough fish. Yeah. Rough fish. Oh, big one. 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 Giant. It's a giant. It's a giant. It's a giant. It's a giant. Do this. It's huge. Do this. This is a big fish. This thing feels enormous. We were just about getting ready to leave. Made a cast up under the waterfall with a tiny swim bait. And this is a huge head shaking fish. Oh my gosh. And this is not a very stout hook. Why is it that the big fish keep biting the light tackle? <laughs> I do not want to lose this fish, no matter what. This is the heaviest feeling fish I have felt in a long time, guys. I know it's on a spinning rod and a fast current. It looks like he's not moving. He's not moving much. I'm just holding him in place, trying to let him wear himself out. Oh, he's going up current. He's going up current. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh. Guys, I'm freaking out a little bit. I'm gonna go back to the front of the boat. This better not be a snag rough fish. <laughs> I don't think it is. He's kind of fighting like one, but I think it's just a massive fish. Oh my gosh. Watch out, Jay. Watch out, Jay. We're chasing him down. He's going for the current. Woo! I just want to see it. Oh, there it is. Whoa, what is it? What is that? Is that a big hybrid? I think it's a big hybrid. Oh my gosh, Whoa. that's a big hybrid. Shoot, I'm oh getting the Oh my gosh, net. get the net, get the net. Okay, get ready, Jay, get ready, Jay, get ready, Jay. He's up here. Oh my gosh, it's a big hybrid. That's huge. Oh my gosh, net that thing. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Look at the size of that hybrid. Oh my gosh. You gotta be kidding me, guys. Oh, the reason that fish was fighting so hard is because it's a massive hybrid bass. Like, these guys fight harder than striper, in my opinion. I thought I had a giant striper, but I will take this. This could be my biggest hybrid bass ever. I caught a big one a few years ago. Oh my gosh, but I was never able to get an official weight on it. But, oh my gosh, look what he ate. Look at that tiny little bait that dude ate. 
That's the six cents baby well. That I put this, just this quarter ounce red jig head on there. Light line to try to get it down to the current. You got Look it. Look at that beast. Big Dang. old hybrid bass. Okay, let's get a quick weight on him. It's gonna be 10 pounds at least, I think. What do you think? Oh yeah, he looks massive. I don't he think was heavy. He was heavy. When he got in the net, I was like, dang, this fish is really heavy. Was he it was, heavier than the striper? Yes, he was heavier than the striper. Huh, nine pounds, three ounces. Maybe he's a nine pounder. Dang, he looks so much bigger. He must have just felt really big being on that light line and in the current. After looking at him now, out of the net for a minute, he's probably a nine, nine pounder. But still, that is massive. I don't think he's my biggest ever, but biggest official I've ever weighed. And definitely the biggest one I've caught on light line like that. Look at that. Huge hybrid bass. What a fun time out here. That is so cool. This is definitely the type of fish we we're hoping to catch out here. Big stripers, big hybrids. We caught some carp. We caught a walleye. But we're gonna go ahead and let this guy get revived and we're gonna send him back into the river and we're gonna get on, and we're gonna get on our way. But that was so epic. Truly a fish catch I won't forget for a long time. Man, these fish are pretty. Okay. Oh, <laughs> just like goes. that. <laughs> He's gone. Love to see a big, beautiful fish like that swim away. Now, hybrids are good eating, but we usually like to have them a lot smaller than that. That one probably would have been pretty fishy. There'd been a lot of red meat to cut off of that guy. My heart really wants to go back up into the foam and make a few more casts, but we are out of time. So we're going to pack all of our stuff up and we're gonna get out of here. Making our way down the steps, getting our first look at the spillway. I haven't been here in a while and it looks really nice. It's not letting a lot of water out as you can see, but the water is up and there should be some fish stacked up against that wall. So we're gonna head over there and we're gonna start casting. Oh yeah, looks good over there. Here, trade spots with me. What is that? That's a big bass. That's a big bass. Is that a spot? Oh my gosh. You got a fish were doubled up. What the heck? That's a big old bass. Is that a spot? Is that a largemouth? Is that a spot? That's a huge. Oh, it's a huge freaking largemouth. Largemouth. Doubled up, baby. You got something big, I think. I do. You got something big. We just doubled up, baby. We just doubled up. Oh, big old largemouth. What do you have? Hold on to him. What does Jay have? Oh, it's not, it's not as big. Is that a spot or a largey? It's a, it's a, it's a white bass or a hybrid. Oh, hey. He was fighting crazy. How about that? Double. Look at that bass, oh my gosh. Look at that. Yeah, you got a white bass. Woo. Heck yeah. Guys, I am so stoked with this first fish catch. I'm I'm pretty positive this is a large mouth. It kind of looks like it could be a, a spotted bass a little bit whenever I hold his mouth shut, that lower the jaw goes past the eye. Seems like, I don't know. I'm not certain. Actually, I might think it's a spot. Let me know in the comment section which thing. I'm usually pretty good with fish ID, but I'm a little bit puzzled just because the coloring on this guy is so fantastic. All right, I'm gonna send this big guy back and I've seen a couple more fish jump down there actually and maybe we can get another topwater bite that was my first cast of the topwater like not even kidding i was not expecting that here we go that is so cool hi he's just chilling oh there he goes <laughs> heck yeah man just hooked up again folks oh big old bass it's a big old bass it looks just like the one i caught oh hold on to that sucker they are crushing that little divine swim bait. Heck yeah. That was my next cast. That was your very next cast. This is a nice fish. Yeah, and he had some good colors funny. too. Oh yes. That is what we came for. Woo! Oh yeah. Wow. Oh my gosh. That one's got like something on he his face. He looks crazy. He I, looks crazy. I got him. Oh, <laughs> whoa. That fish is crazy looking. Oh my goodness. That is amazing, Jay. This fish is crazy looking. That is a beautiful fish. Wow. Hey, look at that guy. Super crisp, super clean. Got black spots on the tail. He's got black lips. He's got lips. black lipstick. <laughs> Maybe it's a girl. These fish have such big tails out here below this tail race. Yeah. Man. 
We were hoping to catch a fish out here like this, but we were not expecting to have action this fast out here. Wow. How's it make we you feel, We just Jay? got here. How's it make you feel? I'm stoked. <laughs> He's got a little gash on him. Hey, that's okay. He's a fighter. Wow. This fish is so cool looking. I can't get over it. Okay. All right, we're sending him back. Nice, chunky, like two and a half pounder. Woohoo! Oh. This is like the easiest spot for us to let him go, but they have to kind of navigate through the rocks to get back out. He's gone. So graceful. Look at him. I'm not sure y'all probably can't see him, but that is amazing. Awesome. Good job, Woo! Jay. Oh, my goodness. I didn't reach him either. Oh, this face is half that good. I'm going to set it. Oh, I got one. You got one. I got one. No. No? I don't think he's that big. Like he's running right to me. Oh my God. He is running right to me. Oh, like now, he, now he feels big. Is he big? He feels big now, all of a sudden. No. He does. No, say it ain't so. I mean, I don't think he's a giant, but... Is it a bass? White well, bass. another white bass. That's okay. Or a hybrid. Why is he hard? Woo! I'm down with it. Oh, yeah. Woohoo! Woo! Nice white bass, Jay. Yes. I gotta get back out there though. That yeah. is schooling like crazy right now. Whew, that don't feel so good. Might be like a hybrid between a large mountain spot bag. I guess you're getting bit. It doesn't feel like a rock. Is it kind of high in the water column? That maybe. Yeah, I think it's closer. Nope, that's fish. That's fish. It's fish. Is it begging? It's hard to say right now. Hooked up, baby. Lots of head shakes. Hooked up. Oh, Woo! another bass. It's another bass. Yeah! It's another bass. <laughs> I am smoking their cheese right now. That is awesome. Gosh, that's a good one. Yes, it is a good one. Woo! Oh, so beautiful. Come here. Wow. I'm on fire right now. This is so much fun. Yes. I think my baby's bringing me good luck. Yeah. Hey, baby <laughs> Jay on the inside is bringing you all the luck today. I'm not, I'm hardly able to make a cast because you're just consistently <gasps> reeling them in. That's another big one. Another like two and a half pounder just stocky. They're up here feeding on Chad below the dam. That's beautiful. That's amazing. That's a beautiful color. Yes. <gasps> okay, we gotta get back out there. <laughs> this is so much fun. That's a good bite. That was a good bite. <laughs> like the, oh, it's another oh, nice bass. It's another nice bass, guys. There are some nice bass. Below the spill. Oh my gosh, it's a whale. It's a whale. Are you serious? This is the biggest one, I think. Oh my gosh, it's a nice bass. Wow. That's a nice freaking bass. That's a big bass, bro. That's bigger than my first. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> yes! Holy cow! They got the same size. I got you. Woo! <laughs> look at that! Yes! Yes! Look how healthy and beautiful these bass are. Get that little underspin. I was starting to think that they weren't liking the underspin because they were eating Jay's bait, but hey, that one smoked it out there in that deep water. <laughs> beautiful. Just a gem. Woohoo! Beautiful bass. Nice, about three pounder or so. Yeah. Man, that's what's up. Fellas, we were not expecting this type of action. Feeling really good about life right now. Feeling really <laughs> good. Okay, let's send this guy back. All right, big guy. We will see ya. As you guys have seen, the bite is on below the spillway. Now, real quick, I wanna show you guys the baits we are throwing to catch these fish because it is very important that you add these to your fishing arsenal if you don't already have them because they are gonna be serious players this fall. So that first fish I caught was that really nice largemouth slash spot slash hybrid bass. I don't even know what it was exactly, but I caught it on this topwater bait. This is a six cent catwalk. It is a phenomenal topwater lure. And if the fish continue schooling, I'm gonna continue throwing this and catch them on top because that's a really fun way to catch them. But what we are mainly catching them on now while the fish are kind of down, and you can catch them on their schooling, is this little setup right here. Jay has just been absolutely waxing them on this thing. Now this is a small 
little finesse swim bait. This is the Sixth Sense Divine Swim Bait. This is the 3.2 inch electric shiner. This is the one I'm throwing actually. She's been throwing a straight pearl one. I think that one's getting the job done because it's overcast and the fish can really see it in the water. But both of those baits are great. And uh, basically just rigging it up on a little six cents screw lock, little eighth ounce jig head. And I also have been throwing mine on this little Divine underspin right here, getting a little bit of extra flash and it's a little bit heavier so I can cast a little bit further. But both of these combinations are money right now and uh, I'm expecting that we're gonna catch a couple more fish on these. So if you guys don't have these baits already in your arsenal, I definitely recommend heading over to the Six Sense Fishing website, picking a couple up for yourself and throwing them this fall because you're gonna get bit like us, especially below these tail races like this. But anyways, that's what we're throwing. Let's get back to fishing. Pregnant lady's hooked up again. Woo! And she's got another like low large mouth. Woo! Here he comes, got a little bit of grass on him. That's what's up. That's what's up. Hey, same rock, another bass. That's awesome. We started seeing some white bass or something blowing up and she couldn't quite reach them, but this guy yeah. got fired up too. But I got bit like three times in the same cast before this fish broke. That's nuts. Got it. That's nuts. It is nuts. <laughs> <laughs> goodness I didn't even feel that one bite I just lifted up and he was there like another white bass? yeah I think it's another white bass maybe you got a striper that'd be cool come on buddy it's just a little white bass hey woohoo but it's been a while since I've caught one Ain't nothing wrong with that. I don't know about you, but I can honestly catch those all day long. I know, these are a lot of fun. I was getting a little worried because I was getting bit every cast, and then all of a sudden, I haven't got bit in like 15 minutes. So, maybe they're turning back on. <laughs> yeah, well actually, I think of what has happened. We've seen some schooling like over there on the other end over there, and I think they, they may have just been making around that way, and then they're just now starting to come back maybe. Yeah. Either way, that's a nice white bass. He hit it as soon as it hit the water, that was cool. Mm, that's good. Okay. Graceful. Hey, put her there, Jay. Oh, he stopped it. He stopped it. I swapped over to just the regular divine jig head because, oh gosh, just a largemouth because the underspin was a little bit heavier and I wanted to fish these shallower rocks and fish it faster. Like Jay's fishing her bait's pretty fast. I think it's not a bass because it didn't jump yet. It's kind of digging. White Ooh, bass. white bass, big white, white bass. White bass are a hybrid. Hey, I think the move paid off though. That was like my second or third cast. Swapping over this jig head. Oh, we got ourselves a nice little whitey. Here's a little bit of that grass, but see there's this little jig head without the underspin. It's a little bit lighter, fish a little bit faster, a little bit higher up in the water column. And we got ourselves a nice white bass. I love it. <laughs> Fun stuff. All right, we just made it over here to the spillway and it looks pretty good. Looks about the same as it did the other day. There's not a whole lot of flow, but we were able to catch fish last time and I think that we're gonna be able to do the same today. And to target the fish, we're gonna start off by what worked for us last time and that was these little swim baits right here. This is the Six Sense Divine Swim Bait, this little 3.8 inch version. I'm throwing the electric shiner, Jay is throwing the straight pearl like last time and we've got them on the little Six Sense Divine Swim Bait Jig Head. It's very finessey, very natural. There's a lot of small bait fish out here and just about any predatory fish that is lurking below the spillway should, in theory, eat this little guy. So we're gonna get to casting, hoping we catch some big ones.
Fish on. Fish on. Fish on. Fish on. The thing is digging. What is this? Is that a big old white bass? It's like a big old white bass, baby. Yes. Yes, I'll take it. I'll take it. First fish, just kind of fishing down the side of this wall. I've seen a little bit of bait fish. Oh, that's a nice one. That's bigger than any white bass we caught last time. Heck yeah, look at that. That fish is clean. Crisp. Get a little divine swim bait. Oh, but I think we're gonna take a few of these home today, but I'm gonna let this guy go to start the day off. All right. Oh, fish on! Fish on! Here's my first fish. What is that? White bass? Ah! Whoa! Aha! My first fish of the day is a white bass. Check that out. And check out the scenery. This is so beautiful. Alright, buddy. Woo! Look at a fish. I think it's another white bass. He is digging now. Oh! Oh! Is this a walleye? I caught a walleye! I caught a walleye! Check it out guys, I just caught my very first walleye. It's kind of crazy that I've never caught this species of fish before, but I haven't. And today's the day that I caught one, so that's cool. We need to check and see what the minimum length limit is on these fish for this body of water because he would be delicious in the frying pan and we are planning to keep some fish today. And that is a gorgeous fish, Jay. But he's a keeper. The first of many, hopefully. Oh, I got another fish. Oh, next cast. Whoa, 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 what is this guy? Maybe it's another walleye. Oh gosh. <laughs> He's fighting really hard. Woo! Woo! What are you? Woo! -hoo! Oh, we got a white bass. Woo! There we go. That was my next cast after the walleye. These fish fight so hard. They're so much fun to catch. All right, I'm going to send you back, buddy. Two, three. Oh. Oh, another fish. Fish on. I'm on fire now. I'm dialed. <laughs> Be cool if it was another walleye. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got here. Oh, it's a walleye. It's a walleye. Oh my gosh. Get up in here. Oh, I caught another walleye. Woohoo. Check that out, I caught another walleye. Now we got one for me and one for Cole. That's so cool. In the cooler. Caught another one. Oh gosh, oh gosh, what is that? Oh gosh, what is this? He hit my bait so hard. I gotta stand up, stand up, stand up. Oh gosh, falling down. <laughs> Standing up. <laughs> Holy cow, this fish has some weight to it. It's a huge walleye. Oh my gosh. Oh my freaking gosh. I don't want to lose this fish. Oh, oh my gosh. No, 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 no,
don't try. No, 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 no. Don't shake, don't shake, don't shake. Oh my God, I got him. Jay, <laughs> last time we came here, we caught nothing but big old bass. And now, you're catching nothing but big old walleye. Holy cow. That's gotta be a new PB, right? Wow. Since you never caught one. I've never caught one before, <laughs> and I was not expecting to catch a walleye this big. <laughs> That's that, so cool. That is a monster. That fish is awesome. Like, I just looked back, I heard you kind of making some noise, and your rod was double over. I was like, oh, she's got a white bass. And then she's like, <gasps> Big old walleye. I knew it was big. Like whenever it hit the, whenever it hit my bait, it was like thump. Like oh my goodness, I was. I thought it was like a big striper at first, but it wasn't fighting like a striper. Yeah, and look at that. Just that little six cents divine swim bait. Everything, Gobbled it. Everything loves those little guys, especially these walleye. Wow. Wow, that is amazing. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> That's your third walleye. I haven't caught Harley Jack. I caught a, I caught a bass <laughs> off camera. I caught a couple little white bass. And you're just wrecking these walleye. It's got to be that pearl color. It's got to be. It's got to be. We're like fishing the exact same area. Either way, you are the walleye master now. <laughs> like, let's just send you straight to Canada or something <laughs> where you can just go fish for walleye for the rest of your life. I guess that was a siren. Folks, they just started generating a little bit and there's, and there's fish jumping like crazy. Oh my gosh, am I recording? I'm about to catch one. There he is, there he is. <laughs> yes, yes. Been waiting all day for this moment. Woohoo. That's what it takes, man. Just turn the, turn the generators on. Oh, nice ones too. Nice white bass. That's a hoss there. Dang I'm big it. Yes. They literally just turned the dates on, haven't had hardly any luck, and then all of a sudden, look at there, a white bass, a good one. This is exciting. This is exciting. Hopefully this will keep them turned on. I don't know. Anyways, I'm good with that. There he is. There he is. <laughs> yes. Yes. Just need a little bit of generation, folks. That's all we needed to catch a fish. Oh, I got two. I freaking got two bass. I got two bass. I've got two bass. I've got two bass. Folks at home, look at this. I have got a double jig rig with two white bass on there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Folks at home, that is a double jig rig with two white bass on there. All of a sudden going from zero to hero, just like that. Look at that, Jay. That is two bass. Literally turned the water on, all these white bass just got excited. Okay, there's one, I'm throwing a little swim bait there. One white bass. And, oh, there's one chasing it. He's on a, he's about to, oh my gosh. And there's two. Jay had a fish freaking chasing yours. No, because, oh, oh, baby, it's good. We could have two more, it feels heavy. It feels heavy. I'm standing up. Nope, it's just one. Just one nice white bass. Woohoo! Yes! Yes! A fatty, a fatty. Fat whitey, man, I gotta get back over here where the where the fish are at. I guess they're everywhere now. There he is, way out there, way out there. This is awesome, I knew there were some fish in here. It's like, I might have two on there now. Oh, I might just have one, I don't know, it's fighting weird. It's like literally all it took to get these fish fired up was for them just to crank the generation up a little bit. Man, these fish fight hard. Oh, it's oh, it's one. I was a, another fish chasing it. 
That's so awesome. That's what makes this double jig rig so deadly. Number one, I have a larger grub on the bottom. Let me get this fish. Oh, I've got this larger grub on the bottom, and then I have this small, I have this, there's my fish. I have this larger grub on the bottom, and then I have this little, tiny little crappie stinger on top, so it makes it look like the stinger is getting chased by the grub, and that gets the fish excited, and in turn gets a big fish to come and eat the grub. Oh, there's one. Oh gosh. Whoa. Whoa. Shoot, I may have another walleye. <laughs> Scared. I don't think it's a walleye. This fish is just fighting so hard. Wow. He is digging. Woo! It's a white bass. Wow. Look at this fish. Woohoo! Dang, I can't say it enough. These fish are so much fun to catch. The their fight is just <laughs> incredible. Alright, buddy. He's out. There we go. There we go. There's another fish. I think that now that the current is kind of getting settled up, they're kind of getting into their ambush positions kind of in the current breaks. It's a good one. Oh, there's two. There's two again. I got two fish again. I got two again. How about that? How about that? Look at this. Look at that. Oh. Woo. Look at that. Two white bass again good ones there's one and two oh we got another one Oh, she's got one too. Is there two on here? I think there's two. I, think I got two. I got two fish. Definitely have two fish. I definitely got two fish. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. Did y'all see that? Two more fish. That's insane. One. How many doubles we caught? Three? Two. Well, as much fun as that last second white bass rally was, we've run out of GoPro batteries and we've been out here for a very long time. Yeah. Like there was a long lull between fish catches. Like we were about to leave. We heard some little weird siren deal. We we're like, man, are they about to turn some water on? All of a sudden, boom, here came the water, and then all of a sudden, bass started jumping everywhere, and we were like, oh, let's catch them, and we, we got them. We got them fast and furious, and I'm sure they're still biting. They kind of quit biting, but anyways, we're heading back to the car. We're going to load these kayaks up, and then I guess we're going to head on out of here. Any last words, Jay? Walleye queen? I'm pooped. <laughs> all right, let's head back in. Folks, this turned out to be a beautiful afternoon to cook some fresh walleye. We've got two different recipes we're going with. Very, really not much of a recipe, but we have cornmeal flour mix here in this bag, and we have some beer battered uh, Cajun mix in this bag, and we have the walleye fillets kind of diced up in here, and uh, we got the fry daddy all heated up, and they are ready to go in and start sizzling, and we are both excited.
And hungry. And starving. We're starving. We haven't eaten much today. Let's just, oh yeah. That's exciting. I think it's our last piece of the spicy mix. Those will cook up in the next like three or four minutes or so, and then we'll add the formal mix. And then we've got some potatoes that Jay has diced up. We're gonna add those, some hush puppies. Have a big old spread, it's gonna be delicious. Here we go guys, we each have our first piece of wally. This is the Cajun mix. We're going in, ready? Let's Ready? do it. Oh. That's yummy. Mm. <laughs> Thank you, Jay, for catching this fish. You're welcome. <laughs> Man, that's like the best piece of fish I've eaten I all year. It's really good. That oh is, my goodness. I'm calling it. This is the best piece of fish I've eaten mm -hmm. all year long. And I have no crappie season is right around the corner. We're about to start catching a bunch of crappie out here. And they're very delicious, mm. but walleye is where wow. it's at mm -hmm. yes oh yeah that is good stuff oh my goodness you feeling that yeah feeling that jay hasn't really been feeling fish since she's been pregnant not mm -hmm. really been wanting it that much but she's feeling it now this can, is this is good stuff this is good stuff we gotta go back and catch more walleye oh yeah we gotta go i can eat this y'all want us to go back and catch more walleye let us know mm -hmm. let us know we'll do it even if, you, even if you don't want us to, we probably will. Yeah. I got a little, this is the, this is just the cornmeal flour mix. Get a little bite of that. I like this one. Oh. This is good too. I believe you. Mm -hmm. I like the Cajun. Yeah, this is good. This is very neutral. Like if you don't like the spice, mm. this is for you. This is really good. Just basic cornmeal flour mix. Okay, that's good. I gotta, I gotta get back to cooking. They're kinda, they're kinda starting to maybe burn up a little bit. Oh my gosh, it's a big one. That is a good one. I can barely move him. He's going to paint. Don't do that. How big is this fish? Oh my gosh, he's huge. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Cole and Jay, we're out here on the river today in our kayaks because we are trying to cure a catfish craving. The last time we were out here, which was about two weeks ago, we got on a little catfish fight, caught a couple big ones, and ever since then we've been wanting to come back out here and do some more catfish and maybe try to target some bigger sized cats, even though the ones we caught last time were pretty good. So to target these guys today, we have got some skipjack that we caught the last time we were out here, we froze them, and uh, I'm glad that we have some today because I'm not sure if we'd be able to catch some out here or not today. I'm not seeing anything jumping. But anyways, we're gonna cut these up. We're gonna get them rigged up on our catfish rods. We also brought some gear to toss around for some striper, some white bass, some yellow bass, just, you know, just for whatever else is swimming out here. But the main goal today is to catch a couple of catfish to take home for dinner. So we're gonna get these nasty, stinky skipjack out. We're gonna get them cut up, get them on the bottom, and see what we can catch. We hope you guys are excited for today's episode. And we hope that we catch some big ones for y'all. So if you're excited for this episode, do us a huge favor. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And let's get rigged up. And let's get ourselves a big one. Okay, so let's crack open our little catfish snack bag. I have a feeling these guys are going to be rank. They look smelly. And let's start off with the biggest one. He has some... Oh, gosh. These dudes do smell. Smell it, guys. Ooh, That is fishy. Now, Skipjack have to be among the top catfish baits out there. It's a natural forage out here and catfish just can't resist them. You know, normally these guys are hard to catch, they're really fast, so when one of these gets cut up and they're on the bottom, it's just like completely irresistible to these catfish. So what we'll do is we'll take this knife, and this knife is not very sharp, but it should be sharp enough to get the job done. We'll cut this guy into some chunks. Nice meaty chunks. Oh yeah. Oh boy. Now that looks like some fine catfish bait. Now our favorite piece to use is this one right here. It's a little chunk right above the tail. 
It's just super meaty. There's not a bunch of guts in there and the catfish seem to like it. We also like the head. Oh gosh, ah, I lost a bait. Anyways, let's get this guy rigged up. I'm gonna give this one a big boss. Jay, you want this piece? Okay, can you catch it? Yeah. Here we go, you ready? Nice, smell it. Does, does it smell like success? Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay, I got my catfish sushi. About to put it on the hook. Get it in a nice meaty part so it'll stay on good. And that is going to catch me a catfish. I just know it is. All right, now let's cast it way out there. That's pretty good. And now we wait. Okay, real quick while Jay's getting her catfish stuff set up, I'm gonna make sure there's not any striper hanging out over here today. I'd hate to miss out on that bite. Just gonna make sure there's not a crazy striper bite before I lock in on the catfish action for the rest of the afternoon. There we go, fish on, fish on, fish on. I think we got a striper. Oh baby, oh baby, oh baby, this is what we came for. We came for the catfish, but we also came for these striper. He's way out there. He feels heavy. Oh, he's a good fish. Oh yes, yes, yes. It has been so long since I caught a striper out here. Oh, come on, and he feels like a decent one too, guys. I'm not even joking. I am not even joking. Freaking thumped it. He's just big old head shakes. I'm almost scared of this fish, to be honest with you guys. Oh, man. I'm so glad I came over here to just check this out first. I'm still gonna do some catfishing, but oh, we gotta check out this fish. Oh, yes. Yeah. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Nice striper, guys. Nice fish. Come here. Come here, big guy. I gotta get him over this. I gotta get him over this buoy. I gotta grab him somehow. Oh, big old striper. Come here. Come here, big guy. Hoo -hoo -hoo. That's what I'm talking about, guys. It was like my fourth cast with this swim bait. And uh, we've got a striper. I didn't see any signs of anything jumping out there. I just seen a couple of shad flicker. And I was like, man, there might be a striper over there. That is a good one. He's probably about five pounds or so. Woo, we're gonna throw him on the stringer. Got that six cents divine jig head in there. Oh man, that is what's up. Let's go. Oh, don't eat me. Now that is how you start the fishing session off, guys. Forecast in, I think. And we got ourselves our first striper of the day. Oh man. Let's see if we can catch a couple more. Like I said, I literally, you know, don't see any signs of striper out there. But um, obviously there was at least one. And knowing if there's one, there's gonna be more. There we go. There's another one. There's another one. I actually like cast it all the way down to my backing. They are way the heck out there. Oh my gosh, that is so crazy. That is so crazy. At the very end of my cast, just got thumped, got demolished. Oh baby, come on. This is awesome. This is the bite that I've been looking for for so long. Oh man, oh man. I was, you know, the original plan was to do catfish. Oh, there he is, nice fish, nice fish, so powerful. To do the catfish because the striper hadn't been biting. I don't know how long they're gonna be biting or how well they're actually biting, but we've already got two. Oh man. Oh my gosh, come here. These fish are so powerful. Let's go. Come here. In the boat. Let's go, look at that guy. He's a little bit smaller than the other one, but definitely a nice fish. He's probably about four pounds. Again, got that swim bait in the face. Just look at that thick, powerful, beautiful striper. I'm not gonna keep a whole bunch. I might keep one more, try to go for three striper maybe four take home just in case you want to get any catfish Woo, i'm pumped oh, oh my gosh oh my 
my gosh. I got a striper. No way. No way. Oh, baby. I have not got a striper in a while. Gosh, he's running right through that current. Get over here. Oh, yeah. Woo! Oh, I lost him. Right there. Oh, what? Oh gosh, I got one. I got one. I got one. <laughs> About knocked me off balance. Yeah, I saw a couple come up and I was nowhere near them, but I guess they tracked it down. Woo it's been about 20 minutes since I had one. Oh yeah, come here. I literally about lost my balance trying to get this guy. Oh, that's a nice one. Come on, big guy. Up and over. Get in the boat. Let's go. There we go, we got our third striper of the day. This is the smallest of the three, but still a good one. Probably about three pounds or so. And again, just chomped that swim bait with that Dubian jig head on there. Oh man. Okay, let's get him on the stringer. Um, seems like they might be starting to feed. So I gotta get back out there real quick. Another one. That's a smaller fish. <laughs> They've gotten smaller with every fish. But the last two came in the exact same spot. I'm not even sure if this is a striper or not. Could be a big white bass. Maybe a large, ain't a large mouth. What is this? Yeah, it's a little striped. <laughs> what is this? Oh, it's a fatty. Look how fat that little striper is, guys. Oh man. I mean, this one here is chubby. Little guy, little striper. Got those beautiful black stripes on. I mean, those are the most pronounced black stripes I've seen on any of these fish today. <laughs> and gobbled up that five inch swim bait. Ah! All right, we'll send this one back. We'll see you, guy. Oh, God. Go, 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 go. Eat it. Eat it. Yeah. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, he came off. No, he didn't. He's coming to me. He's coming to me. They were schooling. That's a big one. That is a big one. Oh my goodness. This is the biggest one of the day. He's got to be. Now listen, let's drag up a little bit. Oh my gosh. This is a big one. That is a good one. I could barely move him. He's going to bank. Don't do that. How big is this fish? Oh my gosh, he's huge. Oh, he's gotta be huge. He's gotta be huge. This might be the biggest striper I've ever caught out of here. This might be the biggest one I've ever caught out of here. He's fighting so hard. Oh my gosh. Don't jack me up. I can barely move. Oh gosh. Don't go down this cable. Just stay out of the cable. Just stay out of the cable. Just stay out of the cable. Just the cable coming to daddy. Oh, he's big. Oh, he's big. Oh, it's a big one. It's a big striper. Oh my gosh, he's a big one. Oh my gosh, he's big. Oh, it's big fish. Big fish. Is that a hybrid? No way. No way, I think it's a hybrid. No way. Oh my gosh, that's the biggest hybrid I've ever caught in my life. Oh my god, oh my gosh. That is a monster hybrid. Okay guys, I made my way back over here to Jay. That fight was so intense, it was so crazy. And in my hands, I have got a new personal best hybrid striped bass wow. look at this fish guys look at how massive how tall how 
torpedo like this fish is. I mean, I knew he was fighting hard. I knew it was either going to be like a, a 12 pound striper, 15 pound striper, or something like this. I have never caught a hybrid bass this big before ever. I've caught something like three and four pounds, maybe five pounds, but nothing like this. It's got to be over 10. I wish I had a scale. I don't have a scale to get an official weight, but from the eyeball test, I have never caught anything <laughs> like this. This thing is just shaped like something out of this world. Good just, gracious. Those beautiful stripes kind of broken up, you know, and just the big old mouth got that swim bait in there. I saw him come up busting. I threw in the middle of him, and I think the biggest one bit. That was so crazy. I'm literally <laughs> still shaking. Look how fat that fish is. He's huge. That is so crazy. Let me give him a dunk in the water, keep him healthy, keep him good. He fought really hard. We're going to make sure we get this guy revived well before we release him. What a fish. Okay, but well that monster fish started to take off while we were taking a couple of pictures. This is the setup I got him on. Six cents, seven foot, three inch heavy, moderate powered ESP series rod, and then and just a pearl five inch swim bait with a six cents, three quarter ounce divine jig head. That thing is money on these striped and hybrid bass. And hopefully we can catch a couple more of those before the sun goes down. And hopefully maybe catch a couple of catfish too. I know the original plan was to catch some catfish, but so far they've been kind of stingy. So we're just gonna fish for whatever bites until dark. <laughs> Okay, so we have about an hour left to fish and I came back over here to where I was catching the striper and that giant new PB hybrid bass, but I haven't had any bites in about 20 minutes. So I'm gonna toss around my little double jig rig for a moment. I've got this new rod. This is the Six Sense Unicorn Series rod. It is a very, very nice, very sensitive spinning rod and I'm wanting to catch some fish with it. So I've got this double jig rig on here. Let's see if we can catch a couple of fish. We could catch some yellow bass, some white bass, maybe even a couple of striper. I don't know, this, this rig literally catches everything. So let's see if we can break this rod in for a minute. And then I think we have about 30 minutes of daylight left. If the striper don't turn back on, I'm gonna go sit with the catfish rod until dark. I feel bad for not casting my catfish rod out yet, but Jay's been over there with hers and hasn't had much luck. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna throw this double jig rig for a little bit, and then I am gonna give the catfish a go about the last 30 minutes of daylight. There we go. What do we got? Feels like a yellow, maybe a white bass. It is a, oh, in and out. Oh, we're in. <laughs> Sorry, guy. <laughs> it's a yellow bass. We caught striper hybrid and yellow bass that was actually a pretty good size one those are pretty good eating too but we've got all the fish we need to take home today as far as stripers go uh, maybe if we get a couple of catfish we'll take those home too so now we're just gonna fish for fun it's been a good day for sure out here there we go oh that was a good bite what is this this is not a yellow bass it might be a drum thumped it kind of like a drum man do i know my species or what holy smokes this rod is so sensitive i could just feel it that that was a drum bite. I can practically get feeling swim up to it. That is awesome. No species off the checklist today. Okay guys, I'm going for it. I'm rigging up my catfish rod. I've got this piece of skipjack head. I'm gonna throw it on this little circle hook and I'm going to actually fire it out here in front of me. And hopefully I don't regret that. I'm still wanting to fish for the stripers and hybrids. I'm gonna try to keep it out of the way but if I hook up with a big hybrid or a big striper, they could easily tangle up in this. I've got a rod holder here on the left. I've never used the front rod holder for catfishing. I usually use the back ones, but we're just gonna fire it out there and see, cause I'm not quite ready to give up on this area. So let's chunk this out there. I don't think that's in my way too bad. Yeah, I'm on the bottom. So I've got the rod down there in the rod holder. It's kind of right here in my face. It's kind of right here in my peripheral vision, but um, it'll probably work. We'll see what happens. I'll definitely be able to see my rod go down because it's right here literally in front of my face. But in the meantime, I'm gonna keep casting these uh, swim baits and jigs around. See if we can get some more fish before it gets dark. All right guys, so as you can see, it has gotten dark on us. The sun has now set. We have about three or five minutes of ample daylight to get back to the boat ride. So we gotta get going. Anyways, today was a very strange and eventful slash uneventful day of fishing. <laughs> Our intention was to come out here and do some catfishing. I barely even catfished at all. I got hooked on those striper off, off the bat. Um, but even though I didn't catfish, Jay spent the entire time catfishing. Yeah. He was determined, but tell the folks at home how your afternoon went out here. <laughs> I didn't get any catfish bites. I would think I was getting uh, white bass bites and they were just taking my bait. Yeah. So I was pretty bummed. I'm like, wow. 
Like three, like three hours of catfishing and not getting a bite? That's crazy. Yeah, and the opportunity- Compared to last time when we were here. Yeah, last time we were here, we were getting a bunch of catfish bites. We were getting no striper bites. And, uh, but Jay was determined. She was like, no, I'm not gonna throw a swim bait that much. I'm not gonna throw jigs. I just wanna sit here. <laughs> just wanna catfish. I mean, you know, she's, she's with child. She's taking it <laughs> easy and just sitting back and catfishing is just, you know, in her wheelhouse right now. But the catfish, they just didn't cooperate. I don't know, we had the good bait. Maybe they wanted this to be more fresh. I don't know, but either way, caught some nice fish. I've got three striper on the stringer, caught my new PB hybrid bass, which was yeah. awesome. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna head back to the ramp, get loaded up, head back home, and uh, we'll pick up with this video whenever it's time to clean these fish and uh, get them cooked up into something nice. So we'll see you guys when we see you. <laughs> As you guys just saw, we just whipped together a quick snack. We deep fried some striper nugs. It's one of our favorite fish to deep fry. <laughs> it is just so delicious. So we're gonna give it a little taste test real quick and see how it tastes. Oh man, look at that. White, flaky, delicious. Okay. Got a little sloppy mama on there. Let's do it. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, thanks for catching these. Wow. Well, that was a bigger bite than I anticipated. <laughs> you are, you're welcome for, for catching a couple of these. I hate that yours that you had got off the hook, but yeah. this ended up being a plenty. That was literally <laughs> only one um, filet. I got this whole plate full of food. We actually have some more food inside. It was so much meat and it's just so delicious. I mean, striper mm -hmm. has to be one of our favorite fish to work with in the kitchen. There's so many different ways to cook it and it's always good no matter how you prepare it. So Jay has elected to start using jigs, but I am going to go on ahead and start with some live minnows, just to see if we can get things started out here. If we can't catch anything on a live minnow, then we might have some trouble out here today. Although I have had some times where I've caught way more fish on jigs instead of minnows, but got some fresh ones here. We can catch anything on this. We can catch crappie, largemouth, catfish. I took them right there below the dorsal fin anyways, so they can swim around real nice. And we're just gonna put it out here in this current break and see what happens. In general, I prefer to use jigs and artificial, but Jay's the master of jigs down here, so we'll let her figure out if they're biting jigs or not. Fish on! What? <laughs> that bobber went down quick. Hey, there are some fish down here. He got hooked strange. There we go, guys. First fish is not a monster, but it is a good sign there are some fish hanging out here willing to eat that was one of my second or third cast nice little tiny black crappie i'm gonna let him keep that minnow he's got it down there in his mouth but we're gonna let him go oh he spit it out what a shame there's one there we go what is that is that a bass oh, that's a crappie oh it's a good crappie Yes, sir. That'll work right there, guys. Check it out, guys. There's our first keeper crappie of the day. It's my second one so far. The bite hasn't been like super crazy. We've been out here for about 15 minutes, and this is only the second bite we've had. Uh, but that's two for the minnows and none for the jigs, which is pretty surprising. But I have a feeling the jig bite could turn on in just a moment. But if it doesn't, then we'll probably both rig up with minnows. But there's a good keeper. I'm gonna toss them in here in the bucket, get rigged back up with another minnow, and uh, hopefully we'll start catching some more. Fish on! Oh, it's a crappie! Woohoo! Heck yeah! All right, literally the next cast after Cole caught his first keeper, I got one, my first one of the day. 
He's not a keeper, but check him out. He's got like a black stripe down him. I think he's called a magnolia crappie. Yeah, magnolia or, or black, black stripe, black stripe, black nosed, black, <laughs> black nosed crappie. Yeah, I think it's black nosed crappie. It could, it could be a magnolia. I think a magnolia is like a hybrid between a black nose and a regular, I don't know. Let us know in the comment section if y'all know. That's a nice little guy, not being able to keep, but good to know they will eat a jig. Yeah. And that fish bit this curly tail grub and I just put it on so hopefully that was the trick. Yep, maybe so. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, hang on. He's not as big as I thought he was. I guess he was in the current a little bit. <laughs> but hey, that's a keeper. All right, I think it's safe to say that the bait change has definitely helped me out. So that is awesome. I've already had my second fish and this is going to be my first keeper. So you know what we're going to do with this fish. We're going to pop that hook out. Oh gosh. Pop the hook out. We're going to put him in the bucket. Woo! Haven't nice. done that in a while. I know, that's awesome. <laughs> you might need to put two of those grubs on there. They're I smoking that should. thing. Maybe if you catch, catch another two one. at a time. Yeah, maybe if you catch another one, that grub will put another okay. um, one on the top. Okay, sounds good. There he is. Smoked it way out there. Oh, I'm about to fall back. I'm falling. I'm falling. <laughs> That's a good one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There we go. Another keeper. Third, nice little white crappie of the day. They're, all their fins are all tore up. It always seems to be the case out here at this spot. They always have janky fins, but that's a nice one. Smoked them in. I cast it out a little bit further out. The break started breaking out there. And um, he was on it like within 30 seconds. Whoa, there we go. There's another one. Oh, he is flipping. Woo, goodness. Okay, this one is not a keeper. Oh, you got one. <laughs> Woo. Is so small. Well, looky there. Mine's bigger. Only by a little bit. <laughs> I couldn't tell if, I, if my minnow was just pulling my bobber down or if it was a fish. So I set the hook and this is the tiniest crappie I've caught in quite some time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but at least they're biting. Yeah. That's so exciting. Let's go ahead and toss these guys back in there and get a big one. One, two, three. Woo. Awesome. Another one. Oh, doubles! What the heck? Oh, she lost hers. We were hooked up with two just then. Jay lost hers. Hers looked like a big one. There's a little guy. They're biting like crazy now. When we first got here, that was not the case. We were, I mean, not really getting any bites, but now they just turned on. We must have got here at just the right time. Got here at lunchtime for these fish. Got him! He's running right at me. He's fighting. We oh, it's a big one. That's a good one. Biggest of the day for me. Biggest of the day for me. Yeah, big old black crappie. At first, I thought it was gonna be a little guy, but he was just running right at me. There is a nice black crappie. I think it's my first keeper black crappie of the day. I think I caught a couple small ones already, but that's a nice one. He smashed that minnow. They're kind of biting all over the place. I caught some right next to the rocks in front of me, but this one bit way out there. So they're just really just swimming around in this current break, just chasing down bait, it seems like. That's awesome. I mean, look how thick he is. Yeah, that's a big one. That's a really nice one. We're gonna toss him back here Woo. in the bucket, get rigged back up, and uh, see if we catch some more. The bite is on right now. Oh, there we go. That was a good thump. Oh, baby. That's a good one. Woo! He's on the top jig. Yeah, that one's on the top jig. Huh. That's cool. It's nice to know they're biting both colors now. I gotta put this fish in the bucket and get back out there. Whoop! Feels like a good one. This is gonna be my biggest of the day. Come on, baby. Oh my gosh. Look at the size of that. 
That's a big one. That's a big bluegill. Whoa, I snagged him a little bit. Oh, I lost him. <laughs> well, hopefully you guys saw him for a second. That was a big one. Big old bluegill. Wow. Hang on now. Hang on. This fish is. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> whoa. This fish is biting so hard. This feels like a really big one. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, okay. Whoa. Whoa. It's a white bass. No wonder. Oh my gosh. I thought I had a monster crappie, but it is a white bass. I know it's and a really nice one. I saw your rod just get boom, boom, boom. I was like, that's a big crappie head shaking, <laughs> but nice white brass. It is almost time for them to start spawning. So this yeah. guy's probably running up in here trying to think about doing the deed. That's a good one. Whoo, man, he was fighting so hard. That was awesome. You've caught, right. you've caught crappie, bluegill, and white bass now. I have. You're leading in the multi-species department. They are smoking that curly tail grub. They we are. caught so many fish on that bait. Whew. Nice one. All right, this fish is really fun to catch. I'm gonna let him go though. Bye. Hey, put her there. Woo! That gets me excited for white bass fishing all of a sudden. I know. Let's we'll get do... white bass fishing now. <laughs> we'll be doing that real soon. Whoa. What is that? Feels like a decent fish. He was way out there. Woo! Okay, he's not that decent. <laughs> it is another crappie though, so that's exciting. But he is not a keeper, so we're going to send him back out there and go catch another one. A bigger one. Whoa! That was a huge thump. Oh my goodness. Oh man. No? <laughs> it is a good one. Oh wow! Now that is the kind of doubling up I like to see. We got two nice keeper crappie right here. Both white crappie, mine on the minnow, hers in the jig. Yeah, mine like hit my bait so hard. I thought I had a really big one. You're due for one out there. Yeah. There's a lot of fish out there it seems, but I'll take these guys. Thank you. And walk them over here. They're probably brothers. And we'll toss them in here. We got four in there and we got five in there. And now we got seven. That's seven crappie. <laughs> Not bad. There we go. That's a decent one. That's a decent fish. Stay on there. He pulled that thing straight down. Looks like another nice black crappie. Stay on there. Up on the bank. Another nice keeper black crappie way out there on the minnow. He was not playing around with it either. He's got some thick sides on him too. I mean, that's our favorite size fish to eat right there. Beautiful fish. I'm still doing the best on this grub. I'm gonna go over there and throw this fish in the bucket. Woo, baby. Filling the bucket up. Woo, there we go. That's a good one. Feels like it stood. Come on, baby. It's a good one. Yeah. All right, there we go. Again on the grub, I have another nice one. Man, but this one has a little something going on with him. Yeah, it looks a little, look a little nasty right there. So probably should throw that one back. That's one of your biggest of the day though. Yeah, it is. He was fighting good. It's Beautiful white crappie. It's a shame I'm about to throw him back. I know, but <laughs> I know you'll probably catch him one twice as big on the next cast. Heck yeah, I sure hope so. <laughs> All right, see ya. And maybe you'll catch him next year whenever that injury has healed or something. Yeah. We don't like to eat the nasty ones, we don't have to.
But this, we got another keeper. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Oh, he's got some nasty stuff on him too. It's just on his fin though, so I think he's gonna be okay. Man, that's a really nice one. I'm gonna put him in the bucket. In you go with your buddies. Woo! Here we go. It's another good one. Now that is what we came for, JJ. Yeah, this is a really nice one. And he's nice and healthy looking. He doesn't have any nasty stuff on him. I know, he's like perfect. All yeah. his fins are like intact. He doesn't have that nasty crap on him. He's beautiful. I know, it's definitely <laughs> a really good eating size fish. And he choked that jig, let's see that. Wow, look at that. Down the hatch. They are digging that little curly tail grub today. Yes, they are. And I am just having an, a wonderful time out here. This is so much fun. Now you're catching like way more than me on the jigs today. Maybe <laughs> you should put some jigs on. I know, I probably should, but I'm having fun watching the minnow bobber <laughs> go down too. That's awesome. Ooh, there we go. Oh my goodness. Oh, Hang on now. This might be my biggest of the day. Oh, baby. Get up in here, woo! Okay, he's not my biggest fish of the day, but he is just a really nice one. That is so awesome. And looks good, we're gonna walk him over there to the bucket again. Put him in there with his buddies. Nice and gentle this time. Awesome. Gotcha! On the middle! Little guy. Definitely seems like the bigger ones are starting to eat the jigs and the little ones are eating the minnows. <laughs> I'm getting closer and closer to swapping over, but I'm just having a good time watching that minnow bobber float around and get pulled down. And I'm also kind of hoping that eventually I might hook up with like a big catfish or something. There's some good channels that swim around out here. There we go. Every time I land in that one spot back there, I get bit. I think it's another keeper. Looks like a keeper. Yeah. It's a nice white crappie. I'm not getting bites anywhere near me. Now I let my bait drift all the way back to these rocks thinking I'm gonna get bit, but I don't. It's always at the end of my cast. Another nice white crappie. Woo! That was a really good bite. Is it a really good fish? Is it a really good fish? Feels like one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's a donkey. Woo! Hey now, that really might be my biggest of the day. All right guys, I'm pretty sure this is my biggest fish of the day. Look at this stud. That's a nice one. He came right out of that foam. I was like, oh, that's a monster. <laughs> and he hit the bait so hard. Oh my goodness. And he was fighting really good. That was a, that was a lot of fun. That's awesome. I think there's just a bunch of fish continually moving up in here. I think these are all fresh ones because they just keep biting. Yeah. That's awesome. That's a good one. That's a pretty good one. Please be a crappie. Be a crappie. Be a crappie. It's a crappie. It's a crappie. Yes. Woo. All right, I'm finally back in the slab circle. I think this is my biggest one I've caught today. A beautiful white crappie, but look at his tail. Like I said earlier, all these fish usually have some sort of issue with their fence. I think it's just from rubbing around in all these rocks or maybe just bumping into each other. There's a lot of fish out here. But he smoked that minnow about halfway back from the bank to me. Really, really, really solid fish. We're gonna throw in the bucket. I think we're gonna fish for just a little bit long. We have a good amount of fish in the boat already or in the bucket already and um, that rainstorm is quickly approaching us. So we don't have a whole lot of time to fish, but there is still a chance that we could catch a big one. So let's get him in the bucket. Let's get rebaited and let's see if we can get one of these big ones that live out here. There we go. <laughs> oh gosh, he's right here. Go up here, yes. Woo! 
there we go guys right by the bank he bit it and swam right to me i didn't know where he was at let's toss him in the bucket we got a lot of fish in there There we go at the bank. What is this? Right. Oh my God, it's a soccer. It's a soccer. It's a soccer. Yes. <laughs> Woo. Now about that. First fish. I'm going to lip him. I don't even care if he's got teeth. I'm going to lip that sucker. Look at that. The first fish of this afternoon fishing mission is a little soccer. This is the first one I've caught all spring. I've come out here a few times whenever it's a little bit cooler, whenever they're, they're a little more active like in February and March. But there we go, first fish is a sauger. These guys are so cool, they're related to walleye. This guy is not super big, and we're gonna let him go. Most of the time I would I would keep this guy and eat him, but today we're just gonna take him off the grub. I knew that he fought weird. Take him off the grub, and we are going to send him back. What an awesome fish, that guy is so cool. Man, I would love to catch one like twice his size today. If, I, if they're out here, I mean, if I caught one just now, there could be more. Let's send him back real quick. A sauger. How about it? Species number one. That's one of the hardest ones to check off the list today. Let's go. I've been here about 15 minutes already, and that was the first bite that I've had. So I was getting kind of worried that I wasn't going to catch anything. But maybe it's just a, a timing deal. The water looks pretty good. I got a nice break right here in front of me. Should be some biggins lurking around. There we go. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that, a little sequence of events. Got hung up a couple times, just kept bouncing off the rocks, and we got ourselves our second species. This is a tiny guy. Sure that we'll catch some bigger ones of these today. Let me get them all untangled here. Second species, tiny, tiny, tiny little white bass. That is not what we're after. I think you bit the top jig. So we got one on each color. We gotta get some bigger white bass than that. That was pretty pitiful. Another one right here in front of me. They are right, I mean literally, like right there. Like feet away from the bank. I think I was pulling my bait out of the water too soon earlier. Another tiny little white bass. Like whenever I get my bait to about right there, I pull it up out of the water. I need to make sure I'm fishing it all the way back to me. The water's up a little bit. So there's actually a pretty good little drop off right here. It's probably, you know, three or four feet. So I really just need to make sure that I'm letting that bait come all the way to me because we catch, catch some big old crappie right there too. Another fish. What is this? Oh, crappie, crappie, crappie. Woohoo! Yeah. Told you we might catch a crappie right there. Oh, he just popped off. Check it out. We've got a sauger, two white bass, and a little black crappie. That's not, I mean, it's not a little one. He's, he's 10 and a half, 11 inches. Black crappie, add him to the species list. We can catch black crappie and white crappie here. Woo, awesome. And we've caught two. Well, all three fish are quite delicious. We've caught, I mean, Sauger, one of the most delicious fish you can catch in freshwater. And then, of course, crappie are super tasty, but we're going to send them back today. We'll see you later. Oh, I got smoked. And the fish are literally all right here. I mean, 10 feet from the bank. I need to take a step back. My rod sticks up, like, to where those fish are at. Smoked. Oh, it's another crappie. Another crappie. Yes. And check this out, guys. Ugh, a white crappie. Check that out. Another species. I told you we catch white and black crappie out here. You can see the vertical bars here indicating it's a white crappie. And it's about the exact same size as that black one we just caught. Oh, and he just popped off that hook, too. Man, he thumped it so hard. I knew it was a crappie as soon as he bit it. I just didn't know how big it was going to be. Wearing out the multi species. We'll see you later. Get big, turn to a giant slab, like a megalodon slab. So it seems like so far this grub right here is doing most of the work. It's that monkey milk, two inch little grub right there. I got a pink jig head, nothing fancy. It's a 16th ounce. The top jig head's a 16th ounce also. Um, I think I caught one white bass on this one so far. So I'm not sure if it's just, you know, keying in on that monkey milk color or if there's keying in on that bottom jig. Hard to say. But if we keep catching them on that monkey milk, we might have to double up on that more bait fish color. But as it starts to get darker out, 
Um, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll squat back to those darker colors. Just, it provides more of like a silhouette in the water. It's an easy profile for these fish to pick out in the water. And this water is not, you know, super clean, but it's not super muddy either. We have about a foot and a half visibility probably. So you can't really go wrong with bait fish colors like this and uh, dark colors. They both stand out pretty well. And I think I just had another bite. Okay, I just made that swap. I put a little salt and pepper tube on the top jig. I took that black and chartreuse uh, curly tail grab off, mainly just because I'm reeling the bait really, really slow and that tail isn't spinning very much. So it's not really giving me that much action. So I'd rather just have a tube on there because whenever I jiggle my rod tip like this, that tube will kind of dart side to side. We'll see what happens. Fish. What is this? Another white bass. <laughs> nope, wait, what? What is that? It's a yellow bass. He's not super yellow. Yeah, it's a yellow bass for sure. How about that? Another species. You can just barely make out that golden tint on his scales. Definitely a yellow bass. Man, how many species have we caught so far? We've got uh, sauger, white bass, white crappie, black crappie, yellow bass. That's five, five species. And I'm sure before we're done here, we'll catch a drum and hopefully we'll catch a striper. And I'm not sure what else we'll catch, but those, we're gonna try to get seven. Seven's definitely gonna be the goal. I think we can easily get seven species. Oh baby, <laughs> I just took a knee. What is this? It's a bigger fish. Might be a bigger yellow bass or a bigger white bass. <laughs> I squatted down to get a little bit better angle. My rod, actually, what's this drum? It's a drum. <laughs> it's a drum on the tube. That was a good swap. I think the last two fish would come on that tube right there. We got two more species on the tube also. But that, my friends, is our sixth species of the day. A nice freshwater drum, the Aplodinotus grunians. Super cool fish. And hopefully we'll catch a bigger one of those too. We can wrestle them in the water for a little bit. Those smaller ones, they don't fight super hard. They fight okay, but not like super crazy. When I come out here to the river, and especially whenever I come <laughs> with a lighter rod like this, I want something to try and pull me in there with him. Although it's kind of nerve wracking. Like if I actually hook up with like a, like a river beast, I'm gonna be outmatched just cause this rod's a little bit, a little bit limber. Most of the time when I fish places like this, I preach about having like a seven foot or a seven foot three inch medium to medium heavy. Um, just something a little bit beefier that you can handle these big fish with if you hook up with them. But we're all about having fun today. And I like this lighter action rod. I can feel the jigs pretty well. And um, when I catch these little fish, they just, they put up a little bit more of a fight. Oh, what is this? Oh, Skippy. <laughs> Oh my goodness, guys. I have literally, I'm literally catching everything out here today. I told y'all that it was gonna be a multi-species fest. This, my friends, is a skipjack herring. We call them skipjacks or skippies. They are awesome catfish bait, awesome cut bait. Big stripers also love to just feast on them. They are just super slick. They're super aggressive. They're a predatory bait fish and they look so much like tarpon. They also get the nickname uh, Tennessee tarpon. Really cool fish. These guys can get big too. They get like three pounds and they're honestly a whole lot of fun to catch. When you get a whole bunch of them in here, you can catch three or four at a time if you put a bunch of jigs on. Really cool. We'll send him back. Feels pretty dang decent. What is that? Is that a crappie or is that a white bass? What is that? What is that? What is that? Oh, it's a white bass. Big white bass. Big old white bass. I got scared for a second. I was like, oh my gosh, I got a freaking two pound crappie. <laughs> oh, shoot. That joker just broke my line. So we'll have to retype. That's okay. Better to know now that my line was jank than, uh, than later and uh, be upset when we break off on something huge. But there we go bigger white bass much better than the first couple ones we caught definitely down with that and i'm gonna have to retie so i guess what i'll do i'll toss him back and i will just show you guys 
exactly how I tied this double jig rig. So you can go out to your favorite body of water, whether it be a river like this or a lake or a pond, throw two jigs at one time and catch a bunch of different fish. All right, well, I guess before I tie this, I better make sure that my line is all the way good. Feels pretty decent. I think it just broke at the knot. I, I kind of lift that fish up weird. Anyways, this is eight pound test Berkeley big game monofilament. It's, a fair, it's my favorite monofilament. It's cheap. You can buy it by the boatload and uh, it's really strong and it's just, it's a great monofilament. I mean, there's no, nothing else to it, even though it just, it just broke, but whatever, it's okay. So we're just gonna tie on our existing jigs the exact same way that we had them on there. And basically all you're doing with the double jig rig is you're just tying two Palomar knots. So I'm gonna tie the first jig on. This is that monkey milk grub, which we haven't had a whole lot of action on for the last little bit. It's been mainly on that tube. So we'll just tie a Palomar knot, just run the line through the eye of the jig head twice. So I got a little bit of line on there, but it'll be all right. And we'll just tie our Palomar knot. So you just tie an overhand knot with your doubled up line and then just run your jig through that loop, okay? Super easy. If you don't know how to tie a Palomar knot, there's a lot of great tutorials online where you can see it up close and personal. You know, I didn't really do a good job of showing you how to tie that, but that's how you tie the Palomar knot. So now that we have our first jig tied up, it's time to attach our second jig, which is, I guess, the trickiest part of the rig. So basically, you're just going to double your lineup again. You're gonna do it anywhere between 12 to 24 inches apart from your jig, just kind of depending on how deep of water you're fishing and just kind of your personal preference. I like about 18 inches. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna bunch your line up. You have a little loop like that, and you're going to tie a couple of overhand knots. So what I like to do, I like to call it just the triple overhand thing. I just kind of loop the line through that loop three times. It's important to do it at least three times because if you do it twice or less, then uh, the knot will slip and then your bait will just be attached to your line just straight. But let me show you guys what we like. We like this right here. We like a loop. So any way you can get a loop attached to your line is what you're gonna be wanting to go for because when you attach your bait to it, it's gonna have more like of a free swinging motion. It's gonna have more action and uh, more action the better, right? And then with that loop, you'll just tie another Palomar knot. Just double it up, punch that jig on there. And boom, we'll wet it just to make sure it's all good and our line doesn't get all jacked up. And there you have it, a brand new double jig rig ready to go. Let's get this thing back in the water. Let's see if we can catch some more species and let's see if we can catch some even bigger fish. We got ourselves another little drum. We usually catch them a lot bigger than this out here. We usually catch like some five and six pounders, but the only thing we've caught so far today is these little guys, these little one and a half, almost two pound fish. Look at these guys, really cool. Most of the time regarded as a trash fish, but I enjoy catching them either way. Let's get them unhooked. He bit that little tube too. One last look, send them back. Fish on, that might be a crappie. I think it's a crappie. <laughs> I was right. Nailed it. I think that's our third crappie on the day. That's our second white crappie. I'm hoping that as it starts to get a little bit darker out that these crappie will move to the bank and we'll be able to catch a whole bunch of them. Not sure if y'all caught it or not, but I caught that last crappie on a black and chartreuse tube. I wasn't getting any bites anymore on that salt and pepper on top or on the grub. So I decided I want to mix up the colors again and see if we can get some on this color once again. Like I mentioned, it's, you know, as the sun starts to set and it starts to get a little bit darker out here, I normally have better luck with darker colors like this black and chartreuse. What is that? No way. <laughs> yes, guys, we have just caught a baby striped bass. Look at that, little baby striper. I've lost count of how many fish species we've caught. I'll have to go back and count here in a minute, but that is another one we can check off. We have done it. We've, uh, we've literally caught everything except for a catfish or like something random, like a paddlefish or something. That is incredible. He's a tiny guy and uh, <laughs> he's not near the size striper we're after, but he does count towards the species total. Send him back. Smoked it, smoked it like a crappie. Boom, another crappie. And what do you know? 
that black and chartreuse. I like that pink jig head too. Beautiful fish, absolutely pristine. Not a monster, but that would be another keeper though. We would have four keeper crappie. Not bad at all. There we go, guys. I was hoping to catch at least one more crappie before we got out of here. The sun is quickly starting to set. Uh, you might be wondering why I have my hood up. The bugs are starting to just like eat me alive. I usually wear like a neck buff around me, but they're like eating my neck, eating my ears. I'm glad that I decided to wear this hoodie. It was kind of warm earlier, but definitely loving it now. But we got ourselves another nice crappie, another nice white crappie. The fins are kind of tore up on this one. He's getting a little bit darker back here, maybe getting those little spawning colors. But that is what's up, guys. We've caught some really nice crappie today. I wasn't expecting to catch this many, and I was not expecting to catch this many different species out here today. And the fact that we were able to catch all of these fish on a simple double jig rig just, you know, just proves how powerful that this technique really is to catch a bunch of different fish species. So I'm gonna get this guy back in the water, and I guess we are going to call it a day. See you later, big guy. Get big, turn to a monster slab. Now what a fun time it's been out here on the river this afternoon. We caught a bunch of fish and we caught a bunch of different fish species. Let's recap all the fish we caught. We started off with a sauger, we caught white bass, we caught black crappie, white crappie, drum, striper, skipjack, and yellow bass. <laughs> and I think that's it. So that brings our grand total to eight different species unless I'm, unless I'm leaving one off. Let me know in the comments section if I'm forgetting one because I definitely could have forgotten one. We've caught so many different fish and fish species today. And like I said, it's just been a lot of fun out here. But anyways, I just wanna say thank you all so much for hanging out with me this afternoon on the river. It was a blast and I hope that y'all learned a little bit about the double jig rig and its magical powers that you can unlock on just about any body of water. But yeah, that's it for me. If y'all enjoy the river fishing videos and you wanna see me come back out to this river or to another river, let me know down in the comments section. Like this video, and if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel so you won't miss out on any of our future fishing adventures. I'm Cole Harkin, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye guys.